Hey guys, it's Jim. How you doing today? I, I thought I would take a few minutes and do a quick video about the Neptune release of Luminar by MacFun. It comes out today or came out today. Um, I've had it for about a week. I've been playing with it. It's awesome. I thought I'd touch on some of the highlights. Uh, a couple of things to know. There's a new filter called Accent AI and there's a, a new workspace that includes that filter. There's improved masking. There's plugin support for Creative Kit and Aurora. There's an improved vignette filter. So there's a number of cool things. I thought I would uh, sort of take you through it because that's always kind of the best way to do it. So let me start with this photo here. And I'm going to start with the Accent AI filter. So I just go Add Filter. Because they're alphabetical, it's at the top. And there it is. And AI is short for Artificial Intelligence. This is basically kind of a super filter. It, it's, it acts like a combination of a number of other filters. So let me just drag it to the right and show you. There you go. Uh, before and after. So in this case, it sort of brightened uh, the image, certainly the dark parts. It also helped the color pop a little bit more. So like I said, it's it's pretty much like a super filter. I don't know how many sort of functionality bits from other filters got stuck into this, but it's really cool. I love it. I use it a lot, and I think it works great. I've been experimenting with it, like I said, for about a week. Uh, but, you know, look at that. I'm dragging this all the way, and it's not oversaturated. It's not overdone. Um, I think it looks great, and that's just, uh, there's a before and after, right? And that's just one filter. That's the new Accent AI. So let me show you what I do with the Accent AI. And let me show you the new workspace. So the new workspace is called Quick and Awesome. And as you can see, it has the Accent AI filter as well as saturation, vibrance, and clarity. So I would uh, just drag it. And now um, I'm going to show you that this photo, it's going to need some more help than just what this workspace is going to have, right? The greens are off. The colors are off. So I'm going to go add a couple of things. I'm going to do color temp. And uh, let's try golden hour. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of making this up here. Uh, let's try that. I just want to balance out these colors a little bit more. And maybe give it a little pop. There we go. I think that looks a whole lot better. Let me show you the before and after. Right? Before is really flat and colorless. But it, as you can kind of see, I think. Let me, let me show you. I think you can kind of see. I mean, there was definitely some color in this guy, but I wanted to bring that back. And the new workspace plus a couple of other filters or a quick add and, and boom, you have that photo. The only other thing I might do here is add the new vignette filter. So let me show you that. You've got two different options, highlights or paint overlay. And you know, you just drag it the same way you did before. But to me, the cool thing is, uh, well, inner brightness is always cool. Let me do that. I like that. Um, but to me, the cool thing is now this place center. So you just click on that and you figure out where you want the center of your vignette to be. And there you go. So let me show you the before and after, before and after. It can help you dramatically alter the look of your photos, which, which is cool, right? So that's that. Let me do a couple of other photos. I'm going to start with the, uh, the same quick and awesome workspace. This is a, a sunrise shot from Dublin. I mean, just that alone looks way better, so much brighter. I'm going to add some vibrance little clarity, and then I think I'm going to go do a little golden hour and maybe a little HSL. So I'm just kind of doing some edits and showing you how I might would uh, adjust this photo here. Take down some of the saturation of the red and the, and the blue. And maybe bring that golden hour up a little bit. Uh, maybe still a little bit too much on the red saturation. Yeah, still a little too much. There you go. So, uh, in fact, I'm going to lighten the red. So you can come over here to luminance and just drag that and sort of brighten the red and then come back to saturation now it looks a little too saturated and uh, take the intensity of the color out anyway so let me show you the before and after right before was just a single exposure flat washed out no color and after is a whole lot better much more dynamic range is visible and it's just a better looking photo maybe a little saturated for some people's taste i get that you can obviously adjust that quickly and easily with the saturation slider like that but again that's a, a use of the uh, the new filters and this one, now I've got to look at my notes. I did a number of things here. I'm going to start with the uh, Quick and Awesome. Uh, and this was, the, uh, this was in Chinatown in San Francisco. I got up at sunrise. It's really crowded during the day. But I just took a straight shot down the street, which I do a lot because I like those kind of shots. But let me look at my notes here. Oops. I'm going to add uh, Color Temp. And I'm going to fix this photo up here for you. Uh, color Temp and Polarizing Filter. Here we go. Polarizing and Smart Tone, so that's in Tone. And then Golden Hour. And there it is. So let me just go make some adjustments here. I'm going to start with the Accent AI. You can see it's really bringing the photo to life. And I'm just going to make some uh, 
slider adjustments here to kind of see what I end up with. And polarizing, I definitely need some of that. It's a little too blue. Uh, smart tone, let's try that. And add a little contrast. And then I'm going to bump up the golden hour to give it a little bit of that sunrise glow. And maybe that's a little too much. But there we go. Let me show you the before and after. Before it was flat, washed out, and the after is much more vibrant, much more dynamic. And a lot of that has to do with the new workspace uh, and the Accent AI filter. Let me show you that. So give that a second. There you go. Off and on. Much more vibrant look to the photo. Uh, and that Accent AI filter is great. So I mentioned plugins. You can click, and now this is if you're in standalone mode. It'll operate as a host for other programs, basically, like Lightroom will do for uh, pretty much any product. So now you can just click on this little plugins, and you come over here, and you can take this photo now from Lunar over to uh, any of the other Creative Kit uh, products that you want to use. You can also go to plugins at the top and do the same thing. Uh, the other improvements are overall speed improvements. There's improvements to the speed and the accuracy, the masking and things like that. Overall, the, uh, the Neptune update to Luminar is awesome. I love it. I particularly like this Accent AI filter. Uh, even though it's artificial intelligence, which sort of, in a way, is having it figure out what to do for you instead of controlling it yourself, even with my knowledge of Luminar, I'm using it because it gives me a great idea uh, about how to get started on a photo and what needs to be fixed. It's sort of a, a smart filter that helps you sort of get started. And as you can see in these photos, I use it, except in that first one over here, I used it by itself. But in all these other photos, I use it in combination with other filters, and it really helps me get a lot of pop and a, little, a lot of sort of pizzazz in my photos, and very quickly, I might add. So that's really the, uh, the Neptune update to Luminar. It's fun. It's fast. It's furious. It's awesome. Uh, go get it if you haven't got it. Uh, you can read about it on my blog. I'll put the link down there. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the update, and see you next time, friends. Adios.